Ladies and gentlemen, it is very hard to defend the DP regarding Kashagwa. Because honestly speaking, the DP regarding Kashagwa himself destroyed, messed up completely with his own political career ahead of the 2027 general elections. And currently, Rigadi Kashagwa is going down alone. As a matter of fact, there is no politician, there is no leader who wants to defend Rigadi Kashagwa against his impeachment. I have just received some shocking information about half an hour ago by the time I'm doing this particular video here. In this evening, information from two media stations about the DP Rigadi Gashagwa's security details, which have already been withdrawn, together with Rigadi Gashagwa's motorcade. Ahead of Rigadi Gashagwa's impeachment, which is set to officially take place after Tuesday next week. After coming across this information about the security details of Rigadi Gashagwa, which I will also share with you in this particular analysis here, it reminded me just a few months ago, whereby Rigadi Gashagwa himself was directly involved in the withdrawal of the security of Mamangina Kenyatta. Rigadi Gashagwa was directly involved in the withdrawal, in the removal of Uhuru Kenyatta's security, the former head of state, during Rigadi Gashagwa's revenge mission against the Kenyatta's. The only mistake that Uhuru Kenyatta committed, that Rigadi Gashagwa was totally upset, was that Uhuru supported, endorsed Raila Odinga's presidential bid in the previous 2022 general elections. Rigadi Gashago was also involved in the withdrawal of Raila Odinga's security. I am also informed that once the DP Rigadi Gashagwa is officially impeached, is officially removed from the office as the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Rigadi Gashagwa will be arrested immediately. The DCI, the ESCC, the National Intelligence Security Service are all after Rigadi Gashagwa because number one, Rigadi Gashagwa threatened President William Ruto in a meeting. According to the information, to the reports from the media, Rigadi Gashagwa is accused of banging the table, demanding 8 billion Kenya shillings from President William Ruto for him to resign as the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Let me read for you this article here. Let me just show you. It says, Rigadi is accused of banging the table in President William Ruto's meeting is among the nine points in impeachment motion against Rigadi Kashagwa. The ESCC is also after Rigadi Gashagwa over graft case worth 5 billion Kenya shillings. Do you really think that Rigadi Gashagwa is going to survive all this? It is just a matter of time. But Rigadi Gashagwa's worst political mistake or Rigadi Gashagwa's worst political mistake that he committed, Rigadi Gashagwa was just thumping with a lot of pride while attacking the National Intelligence Service boss, Nodin Harji. Rigadi Gashago was saying this, let me just show you, that the NIS, I mean, we have a dysfunctional National Intelligence Service that are sleeping on their job. And I remember very well, the National Intelligence Service immediately responded to Rigadi Gashagwa, issuing a very strict warning for immediate release. Let me just show you. What shocked me in these points here 
is the point number five and the point number one. When you read the point number five from the NIS, it says this, the DP regarding Shagwa should be aware that this service has files. It has extensive information about him that are damaging to him. But we have kept it under wraps. We invite him, Rigadi Kashagwa, to shed off the DP tag so that this service can show him what a personal fight looks like. So what the NIS is telling Rigadi Kashagwa is that the NIS has a lot of information, damaging information about Rigadi Kashagwa. What protects Rigadi Kashagwa is the title. He is the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Once Rigadi Kashagwa sheds off his title as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, the NIS will immediately come after Rigadi Kashagwa. The point number two here, it says that, I mean, the point number one, the NIS director general reports directly to the president as the commander in chief. The role of the president as the commander in chief has no deputy. So the DP will not know what the service presents to the president in its report. How exactly can Railo, I mean, can Rigadi Kashagwa know that the NIS is sleeping in its job? That we have a dysfunctional NIS. Yet Rigadi Kashagwa does not know exactly what the NIS reports to his boss, President William Samuel Rukto, about him. I was listening to the former Law Society of Kenya president by the name Eric Deuri, who was speaking during an interview at Citizen TV. Eric Deuri said this, I have looked at the impeachment motion and from the legal standpoint, it meets the threshold. And it will succeed. So be rest assured 100% that Rigadi Kashagwa is going home. Unless Rigadi Kashagwa himself makes peace with his boss, President William Bruto, and Raila Amolodinga ahead of the 2027 general elections. But I'm also told that the real reason as to why William Bruto and Raila Odinga wants Rigadi Kashagwa to be removed, to be impinged as early as now, before the 2027 general elections, it is because Ruto understands the dangers of removing, of rejecting Rigadi Kashagwa in the 2027 general elections. It will affect the voting bloc, especially from the larger Mount Kenya region. So removing Rigadi Kashagwa as early as now, it first of all makes people to get used to, to the new deputy president, so that by the time 2027 general elections is around the corner, there's no need for William Bruto to appoint another dep deputy president. People will have forgotten the issues of Rikati Kashagwa, and it will not affect the voting of, I mean, for William Bruto in the 2027 general elections. It will not affect. So let me read for you the details concerning the DP Rigadi Kashagwa's security withdrawal. But before that, just a quick reminder that if you are listening to me and you haven't subscribed, I want you to take one second or two and hit the subscribe button down below for you to be able to receive more political updates like the one that I'm currently doing in this channel. You can also give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend this video in particular and this entire platform to reach out to more people because I believe that is the only way that we can improve this channel to grow. So to my returning subscribers also, I really want to appreciate you for your continued support. I, didn't, I don't take it for granted. So this is this, I mean, the information it says, let me just show you. The first information says that His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa EGH Motorgate and security has been withdrawn. And when you look at the time here, it is not long time ago. It is just in the evening. Then another one, it says, if you pray, pray for your country 
and the DP, your outgoing Deputy President, Honorable Rigathi Kashagwa. Rigathi Kashagwa is not safe. His security part has been withdrawn. I mean, part of his security has been already withdrawn. So you may be wondering, what next for Rigathi Kashagwa? Rigathi has only three options left for him. Option number one, for Rigathi Kashagwa to save himself from all these issues, he must resign as early as now. Because once Rigathi Kashagwa is impinged, it means that Rigathi will never ever hold any government position, whether elected or appointed. It is not allowed. That is part the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. So once he resigns, it means that the impeachment will not take place. Rigathi Kashagwa will be safe from all these issues. Option number two for Rigathi Kashagwa is to ask for forgiveness. Rigathi must seek apology from both William Bruto and Raila Odinga, even the former head of state, even Mamangina Kenyatta, for what he did to them. As a matter of fact, I have listened to the church leaders, to the Christians, to the church, advising Rigathi Kashagwa that he must seek William Bruto's apology as early as now, before the impeachment. Otherwise, he will be impeached as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Rigathi Kashagwa's third option that is left for him, maybe Rigathi Kashagwa can also decide to try his luck at the courts. He should wait until he is impeached, then go to court to seek for protection or seek the court's option to overturn the ruling, his impeachment. Now, this is very risky because, first of all, when you look at Rigathi Kashagwa's politics, he is not well, you know, Rigathi Kashagwa is not sharp, politically speaking. Rigathi Kashagwa is not smart because up to now, Rigathi Kashagwa does not have lawyers, strong lawyers to represent him. And I'm told that there is no lawyer also who wants to represent Rigathi Kashagwa. Imagine Rigathi Kashagwa sending someone like Cleophas Malala to go and represent him at the courts. I saw a certain statement that um, Cleophas Malala went to the courts to try and stop Rigathi Kashagwa's impeachment motion in parliament. And he was told, you know, it, it was not possible. Cleophas Malala is not a lawyer. Cleophas Malala is not smart. Rigathi Kashagwa is depending on someone like Cleophas Malala. Just imagine. So those are the kind of issues that are currently going on. I don't know what you think. I really, really want to know your thoughts and your opinion in the comment section down below. What exactly can you say about Rigathi Kashagwa's impeachment? Do you support it? Please let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more political updates like this one. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much for watching up to this end. Let me see you again in my next video analysis. I don't have much. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Remember that my name is Jason. Bye-bye and have a good night. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.